I'm gonna totally do the infomercial intro. Are you tired of having to bend your hand all this way when you're trying to use your tablet? Or you're walking on a mouse and you're just trying to do this and you're rotating your head and it hurts so much that you can't possibly draw what you want to draw? Well, I've got the solution for you. <laughs> I love those infomercials that take something that's like a pretty normal part of your life and make it sound horrible and then they offer you a pretty crappy uh, solution for it. Like, you know the ones where the girls are curling their hair and they're like burning their head off and they're like, ah! And they're like, use this piece of shit, it's gonna help! And uh, that's what we're gonna show you today. This is actually really cool and um, I've actually known about this tool for a while but I, uh, I didn't use it until last night for the first time and uh, I think it's gonna help. Anyway, my name is Flern. No, it's not. My name is Aaron. You can find me on Twitter at AKNacer, and uh, this is Flurn. Flurn's the name of the show. Um, I'm excited. I'm in a great mood. I got a haircut today. Oh my god. My stylist, Danielle, shout out girl, love ya, came to my house, which is awesome, and cut my hair, and she did a great job. So now you guys get to enjoy that too. Um, let's get on to our tutorial, because I'm sure you care a lot about my hair. We're gonna be doing some really cool stuff and I'm gonna show you this Rotate tool. It actually is gonna have a lot of great applications for the work that you guys are doing. Um, basically, here what we need to do first, before you do anything, you need to go to your Photoshop and go up here to Preferences. Now, this is only available in uh, CS4 and CS5. We're gonna go to Photoshop, Preferences, and we're gonna go down to Performance. Okay, you need to make sure that you have this thing um, enable OpenGL drawing on because the tool we're gonna use requires this OpenGL drawing. It basically it uses your um, video card to do some tasks for Photoshop instead of your main processor. I, I'm not a computer geek, really, I don't know. So um, I think that's what it says. Anyway, um, you know what? I bet one of you guys knows exactly what this means. Would you tell us? Because I'm sure you can do a much better job so I don't sound stupid. Why don't you tell us in a comment box below? I'm sure one of you guys is a genius and knows about this stuff. I'm just, I'm not, that stuff is like so above me. So let me know, what does this OpenGL drawing do? And uh, you guys can have your chance to shine too. So you do have to have that checked. Um, I'm gonna hit okay. Basically, here's the whole thing. Um, really, when, whenever you're doing something in Photoshop and uh, this works for masking, it works for painting and things like that. I'm just gonna start off with a really quick example. Um, I've got a regular soft brush. My flow is about 10%. Let's put it about, yeah, 10% is cool. And I'm gonna just kind of try to sculpt her cheeks just a little bit. And when I'm doing this side, it's a pretty natural movement for me. You can see I'm just kind of like putting that in there just a little bit. I'm doing this with my pen. I'll do it over here so you can see, right? Um, but when it comes to the other cheek, like doing this is not nearly as natural for me for my right hand. So what happens is I, I wind up not really having the control that I need. And then I, tr I always try to like go back over here and then I'm like, you know, I just look like an idiot and it's uncomfortable. And I wind up like turning my head. Um, so this cool, this cool is actually tool for you. Um, it's right over here. It's the rotate canvas tool or the rotate view tool. Um, you just hit R on your keyboard to get to it. And basically, if you have the OpenGL set, you can click and just rotate. Now this is not a permanent rotate of anything. It's not rotating a layer. It's actually really just rotating your canvas around. Um, you can hold down shift and it'll kind of lock it by 15 degree intervals. So you can always bring it back. But you know, if you're painting there and you want to paint on her face, then you can just zoom in and you know do something that's at an angle that's a little bit better for you let's just bring that down a little bit there we go and you can sculpt a person's cheek you can see i'm doing a incredible job here and uh you can kind of paint at a way that's a little bit more comfortable then you just hit r and bring it back to normal again so that's a really great way to do that if i uh if i made my if i put it in the right place maybe start it off um not rotated around <laughs> so you can see what you're doing there um but that looks really good. Now the color there is horrible. So um, just to show you that I actually do know what I'm doing, let's hit Command U. I'm gonna just bring my saturation up a little bit on there. There we go. And it's going to it's going to add a little bit more saturation to what I just drew. You can see there. And now we're going to just bring my lightness up too. All right. And this is a layer, and we just need to put it onto like soft light. There we go. Let's just bring the sat lightness back down. I didn't have it on soft soft light. That's why I looked bad. I got so excited about my rotate tool, I forgot to do my layered blend mode. Anyway, so that's just a really great, great way to paint things. And uh, it's not only in painting, when you guys are cutting things out, 
you know, if you are doing it by hand or something like that, um, it's also really cool for that. So I've made a little prepare for you. This is, um, this is Stephanie. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Stephanie. She's the new, uh, she's the new spokesgirl for Flern. And so we're going to put her in an ad for Flern. And <laughs> let's just move this around here. And there we go. Let's say I want to just put this kind of behind Stephanie. And I'm going to go ahead and start masking this out. So I want to put a layer mask on there and um, start painting black on my layer mask, which is going to make this layer invisible. And you're going to see pretty quickly, like, you know, normally I, I would have to paint like this and that's just a huge pain. So really, this is a pretty cool tool. Um, I used it last night for the first time in like a, a real way and uh, it really does help. So you can just kind of get in here, make your brush a little bit smaller and uh, it's, it allows you to use this because I get a lot of people, you know, I'm a huge proponent of the Wacom tablet. Um, a lot of people see me using the Wacom tablet and they say, you know, Aaron, I've, I got the Wacom tablet because of you, and to be honest, it's kind of tough. Like it's, I'm not, I'm not really getting it like the minute one and don't, you guys are not alone. Like when I first got my tablet, it took probably like a month and a half to two months for me to get really comfortable with it too. So don't, you know, don't worry about that. It's a, you're not weird. You're not in, unable to do anything. It's just, it can take a little bit of time to get used to. So for instance, I'm using my layer mask here and you know, here, if I want a different angle, I'm just going to go in and now we're going to get an angle that's more comfortable. So instead of, you can see, I mean, my head's not moving around. My arm isn't cramping in a weird way and I'm able to cut things out from the backgrounds a lot better. Now, this is really great for you guys, especially for those of you guys, and I know you guys are out there who hate using things like the pen tool because the pen tool, you know, it requires, again, it, the pen tool requires quite a bit of, you know, just a little bit of time to learn how to be able to use that tool well. And the reason why this is great is because you're just using a regular old brush, something that you would have been using anyway. I'll even do it with the hair. You guys want to see that too? I know you do. I know you do. You're so excited about this thing that I'm showing you. You're just going to run home and you want to tell mama and say, mommy, I learned about the rotate tool on Flurn today. And she'll say, that's nice. <laughs> I was thinking about Adam Sandler when I just said, yeah, it's nice. I love Adam Sandler. He's awesome. All right, so we're we're basically just you know doing this at an angle that works a little bit better for us, and it really is um, cool. I know. I mean, in the world of like you know total Photoshop geekery, it's cool. My definition of cool is not like you know I'm a British rugby player and I bash people's faces in and like tear my shirt off and run around the field and I have like lots of parties with alcohol and. You know, mostly just models are trying to call my phones every day and I talk like this. Um, it's not even my real accent. Actually, I adopted it just to look cooler. Um, so that's not my world of cool. This is my world of cool. But in my world of cool, um, this is cool. So there we go. You can see you can even like paint in hair and things like that, too. Isn't that great? So just a quick tip on uh, how you can get a little bit more control and how you can not hate cutting things out of the background because now you can just rotate them around to your fancy. And look at that, we got the Flern girl. She's like, oh, Aaron, that looks so good. And you rotated me around, but it was okay because you just hit R at the end and then shift and you snapped it back. Or you could have hit that reset view up there and that would have been cool too. Isn't that awesome? So this is something I just learned um, about basically last night. I was like, oh yeah, that tool exists. Uh, I might see if I actually don't hate that. And it turns out I don't hate it. It works really well. So do you guys have anything that you've discovered lately with like Photoshop or photography or Lightroom or things like that? Like a little cool tip that you're like, wow, that actually is pretty cool. I think I'm gonna learn about that. Instead of keeping it to yourself, share it with the community so we can all grow together. Let me know guys. Really excited about the rest of the week and next week we got Amelia's moving here on Sunday. Oh my gosh. And then we have the next week, we're moving into our studio, hopefully, uh, you know, barring the fact that the guy we're leasing it from is not a bum bum head. He's been a little bit of a bum bum head so far, but uh, we're trying to talk him into being cool. And then the next week, we're flying Paul out, who's our developer, to do um, big things for Flurn. We're deciding the future of Flurn. It's a very exciting time. So thanks a lot for sticking around, guys. I hope this helps out. If you have those cool tips and things like that, leave it in a comment box below. Let me know. Talk to you guys soon. Bye, everyone. 
tear my shirt off and run around the field and I have like lots of parties with alcohol and you know mostly just models are trying to call my phones every day and I talk like this.